Hi, in this video we're going to show you how you can set up an app called MI uh, to view your live streams from your uh, DVR. Okay, so once you have it installed on your um, on your smartphone uh, and you open it up, you'll be faced with a menu like this. But what you want to do now is configure it. So what you do is go to Home, go to Device List, go to Add Device. You can call the name whatever you want. The address will be the static IP of the actual DVR. So what I had this set up was 192.168.1.100. The port, which we alluded to in another video, is the mobile port. And on this particular um, device, uh, DVR I should say, uh, the mobile port is 34599. Okay, the user ID is admin. And the password is blank now that's the default username and password that comes on the dvr uh, what i would say at this point is you shouldn't leave it like that uh, having a, a default password of blank is a very bad idea and you should change that when you get your box and um, it's only left like that by default um when you buy the box because you know just for handiness sake but you set it to whatever you want and that's basically <coughs> excuse me so you can set the match channel then to whatever you want i'm just going to say four and save so what you can do is go back go back to live view pick one and this will be the device one highlight that and i think it was on channel two that i had and you can see then i'm actually viewing that in real time i'm just going to run my hand over the camera there and it should come into shot there in a sec And that's basically it. Now, what I will say is I've just set this up on the local area network, which is fine. And you can see how easy that is. But it's the same principle involved in actually doing it over a wide area network, i.e. over the Internet, when you're in a remote location and stuff like that. There's just a little bit more to it, and it involves port forwarding and configuring your router and things like that. But there's other videos in the series which uh, deal with that aspect of it. But um, just to probably um go back over a point we would have made in the other videos if you are going to do this um to view it remotely i.e over the internet um what you want to do basically is there's two ways of going about it you can use static or dynamic addressing but we recommend that you use static uh, because it'll just make your life that much easier and what you can do is if you have a business broadband account and things like that um the likes of aircom you know vodafone all these sort of people will give you a static ip for your premises and then it'll just make the whole process that much easier if you are a residential customer you may not be able to get a static ip easily and you may have to go down the route of dynamic addressing Um, but there is you know it's it's doable but you know it, using a static ip would be the best way of doing it but that's it basically in a nutshell how you can um you can stream your live recordings over your phone from the DVR.